So, hello, aliens. I hope I'm audible there. Am I? So, just give me a hi if you are, if you can hear me. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to talk about different IDEs available for Java developers, and we'll talk about one of the best IDE for you. So, you know, when we talk about IDEs, we have lots of IDEs available, right? So, we have uh, NetBeans. In fact, every college they no, they normally use NetBeans. We have Eclipse IDE, uh, then we have uh, IntelliJ, uh, then we have J Developer. We have lots of IDEs available, right? In fact, lots of colleges they prefer to use uh, to use Notepad to type the data, right? So when you say you want to use an IDE, why exactly we need IDE, and what exactly IDE means? So IDE stands for, let me just remove this, and IDE stands for, it is integrated, so that's integrated development environment. So IDE stands for integrated development environment, and so it simply means that whenever you want to make an application, so whenever you want to make an application, we have to use search, we have to use some IDEs. You can, you can either use NetBeans, we can either use Net Eclipse, or we can either use IntelliJ. And I, and, and I know that I have already have this uh, video, uh, I have this video on different IDEs available, but I wanted to explore more on this one, which is IntelliJ. Because when you say which is the best IDE available, we have NetBeans, we have Eclipse, we have IntelliJ, but still, your college prefers to use Notepad. I mean, why do we use Notepad? Because see, when you write a Java code on Notepad, we have to create, uh, we have to use, so we have to use Notepad, we have to compile it with the help of CMD if you're using Windows machine, uh, then we have to use uh, some commands like Java command to run the application, we have to use Java C for compile the application, right? So when you write a Java code on Notepad, we have to compile that using CMD, using Java C command, and then we can run this with, with the help of Java command. And yes, if you are beginners, uh, then yes, Notepad makes sense. Because when you use IDE, you will get some suggestions. You will get, uh, you will get those suggestions. We, and we don't want that, right? We don't want suggestions. Actually, check your errors. You can, uh, you can work with, uh, you can solve the errors when you compile it. Right, that's 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 one of the best way to use uh, to learn to learn uh, Java on Notepad. But let's say if you have learned if you have learned Java, what next? To make an application, of course, you have to use certain IDEs, right? Because we don't want to focus more on. So I don't want to focus more on uh, compile time errors. I want to focus more on the concepts. So when you say you want to focus on concepts, so of course we have to use. Uh, not concept, but we have to focus more on the development part, the logic part, instead of focusing on syntax. That's where you have to use you have to use IDEs. Okay, uh, so one one of the best one is NetBeans. Of course, everyone knows that NetBeans is best, right? But we have certain other IDEs as well which we can use. Uh, let me just show you those those links or these websites where you can find these IDEs first. So I'm, I'm sharing my entire screen with you now so that you can see what's, what's going on behind the scene. Okay, so. Okay. I hope you can see my Opera browser here. So one of the best, I mean, one of the IDs which, which we can normally use is NetBeans. So you can, you can go to NetBeans and you can go to the website, the official website of NetBeans. And yes, yeah, so this is NetBeans IDE. The current version of NetBeans is 8.2. But I don't normally prefer NetBeans. In fact, uh, if you can see all my videos, all my new videos are on NetBeans, right? But uh, now I prefer, I, now I don't use NetBeans. We are using, uh, so I'm using Eclipse, okay? Uh, now, why Eclipse is because if I go to Eclipse dot, if I go to Eclipse website, Okay, so I use Eclipse now because one of, I, I love this, I love Eclipse. In fact, uh, why everyone prefers to use Eclipse is because there are different IDEs available on Eclipse. Example, uh, we have JBoss, JBoss Developer Studio, which I use in my machine. You can see if I open JBoss Developer Studio, I normally use that. Now, uh, so why we need JBoss Developer Studio? Let's say if, I'm, if I want to make a website and, and I have JBoss as my server, 
and I need some features of JBoss. So it is always better to use JBoss Developer Studio because it will give you those features. Now JBoss Developer Studio is based on Eclipse. It's not something very new. It is something which is based on Eclipse. So if you use Eclipse, it is very easy to use JBoss Developer Studio. In fact, we can also use STS. So what is STS? So when you want to make a Spring application, so if you are thinking about making Spring application, then we can use STS. And so, so when you use STS here, so we can, okay, is that? Okay, just taking lots of time to open. I don't know. My machine is getting very slow nowadays. So yes, even if you open Eclipse, uh, Net Spring, you can see somewhere it is written here, Eclipse, right? So even Spring ST, I mean Spring Tool Suite, which is a software to make websites or web application or software software application, we using Spring Framework is based on Eclipse. So if you know Eclipse, you can learn all this thing very easily. Okay, so that's how your Eclipse looks like. If you, if I want to show you the, oh, that's that's the project. Okay. Uh, so I was making some Hibernate videos. You can see I'm making, uh, that just to update you, I'm also making Hibernate videos. If you want to learn Hibernate, you can see that. So this is your Eclipse. This is how Eclipse looks like. Okay. So if I go to about Eclipse, you can see I'm using Eclipse Mars, Mars 5, I mean, I'm using 4.5.1. You can use this. But then which is the best IDE available? Is it this or something else? So the best IDE available is not this one, but this one, which is IntelliJ IDE. This is best is because it provides you lots of features. In fact, lots and lots of features. Uh, but the only problem with IntelliJ is why well, I'm not using IntelliJ when it is best. If I go to IntelliJ, it is made by JetBrains. Okay, and in fact, uh, this is very famous. If you are using if you are using uh, this one, which is Android Studio, Android Studio is based on IntelliJ. So if, if, if you ever open in Android Studio, you can see it, it's based on IntelliJ. Okay, so it is one of the best one. But the problem is, you can see the type of, I mean, the version we are using, I'm using here is Community Edition, which means that I can make only those, I mean, I, can, I cannot make every type of software, so I have to use so I'm using community edition. One of the enterprise edition. Let me just go to the website of IntelliJ just to just to show you what I'm talking about. If I go to IntelliJ, uh, IntelliJ, where is that IntelliJ IDE? And okay. So if I go to the website, okay, come back quite soon. Okay, so it, it is giving me the download option. This is the IntelliJ official website. Now, it, they have two versions. One is community version, and second is ultimate version. So when you want to make a web application, you need to use ultimate version, right? So you can see, if you want to go for ultimate version, they are giving you the file trial version here. So you have to pay for the ultimate version. Now, how much you can, how much they will charge you? They have their... They have some, okay, I, even I don't know the, uh, so you can see we have a buy option there. Okay, so if you want to go for ultimate, you have to pay around $500 per year. And that's for one machine, okay? If you want to go for multiple machine, then you have to you have to pay more. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not using IntelliJ. But there are companies, they use IntelliJ because they can they can pay for this. So yes, you can also use IntelliJ if you want. Okay. So that's that's why I am using Intelli That's why I have IntelliJ. I have a community version, not the ultimate version, and that's why I use Eclipse because Eclipse is free. Okay. So that's it. If you want to explore more on IntelliJ, you can just go go and download IntelliJ. Now, why, what's the purpose of this video is just to show you different IDEs available. I mean, there are, there are lots of number of IDEs. Which one to go for? If you are in college, go for NetBeans. If you are if you want to get into company, go for Eclipse. And if you are working for a company where they, they are ready to they are ready to pay you or they are ready to buy the subscription for you, of course you have to use IntelliJ. If you know one IDE, it is very easy to learn the other IDE. So that's it from this this video. So I'll be making some live. I can go live anytime. Okay, so I'm I'm planning for this. You know, I will not mention any live session in future. I will go live impromptu. 
uh, in the evening set in the evening time itself so if i the moment i get some free time i will take a topic and i will go live okay so that's it from this video if you if you want to be if you want to be notified about this live sessions i guess you can just click on the notification button on the there there should be some notification button somewhere here where you can uh, mention that whenever i go live you should get updated or, or you, you can also like my telisco learning page on my channel uh, telisco learning page on facebook and do subscribe do share my videos if you think my videos are valuable so that's it that's it from this video see you in the next live session thank you so much